So in today's video, I'm going to talk about black convict cichlids and breeding them. So the name of the convict cichlid actually comes from the black stripes on their body resembles what an old jumpsuit for prisoners used to wear. And that's where the name comes from. This cichlid comes from Central America. Um, the females will usually have an orange scales on the lower part of their body and the males won't and it's easily identifiable that way in this tank there's only a male the uh, the female died about two weeks after the, the fry hatched so these fry are about a month old right now so they can be kept in water as cold as 68 degrees but breeding is promoted in temperatures from the mid 70s to the high 70s for tank size, right now these are in a 20 gallon tank and I have other ones in another 20 gallon tank, but I think that they could probably be okay in a 10 gallon tank for the first couple of years of the life, but then they would probably need to be moved up. The max size of these cichlids are 6 inches long, although I've never seen any that big and the biggest I've ever had them would be about 4 inches. So they can spawn quite large numbers. See, all these fry here that you're seeing in the shot right now, this is all just one spawn. The convicts are a cave breeding cichlid, so they like to have the cave in order to have protection and cover from predators when they are wanting to breed. However, I have been able to breed them successfully in a tank that had no caves, had no um, ornaments or decorations that would provide uh, protection for them. It, all I had in there were fake plants, but they were still picked out a spot in the gravel and still spawned without any cave. In this tank, what I'm using for the caves are just small little terracotta clay pots tipped over on their side, and they spawned within inside of one of those clay pots tipped over, and that's what they use as their cave. Convicts are probably one of the easiest fish to breed. Essentially all you need to do is put a male and a female together and they're gonna breed. So when I bred without a cave it did take longer for them to do, it took about four months for them to get ready to breed and when I added caves it only takes a couple weeks and they're already breeding. They're not like some other cichlids where you would need to have a group of five or six and raise them up and let them naturally pair off together in my experience, you can just pick a, fe a male and a female and put them together and they're going to form a pair almost all the time. Once the eggs hatch, both the male and the female are very protective of the fry. They will fight off any fish that comes near them. If they're causing a threat, they're going to protect their nest from any other fish. And Sometimes you'll see one of the fry stray away a little bit from the nest and you'll see one of the parents go up and suck them up into their mouth and you might first think that oh the parents are eating the babies but they're actually not you'll then see the the parents swim back to the nest and spit them out they're just making sure that the fry get back home safe so this is my other tank with this is the both the male and the female parents still around the darker colored one is actually the female the females usually have more color than what the male do um, this little ornament here is what they used as their cave to spawn in. And if you can look back in there, you'll see that the, the bottom of it is just the glass of the tank underneath. So they went in there and cleared that off themselves, and they laid their eggs right down on that flat surface because convicts prefer to lay their eggs down on flat surfaces. So hopefully this gives you more insight into convict cichlids and hopefully encourages you to get some for yourself.